Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shane, your nappy chef. Today, we're going to make my version of a garden salad. Okay, Zoe. Tell us what we have for our salad. We have some zucchini. That's not a zucchini. Cucumber. But close. <laughs> we have some cranberries. Dried cranberries, yep. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Lemon. Lemon. Red onion. Red onion. Mm -hmm. Avocado. Yep. Lip. Fresh lettuce. All right. And some garlic. Garlic. Right and what are these right here? Pistachios. Exactly. So, um, you know, a lot of this we were able to get from our aquaponics garden, and we're going to show you how to make a delicious salad. Thanks, Zoe. Stop it. Okay, come on, Zoe. We're going to have a fresh salad. Mm -hmm. So the ones that you want to get are ones. yeah you want to get the full, big ones so i am cutting right you'll cut it at the base at the right. base okay. Yep. okay here's some good one here's a big one So if you notice, what she was doing was only cutting the leaves on the outside of the stem that are pretty mature. Uh, she left the ones on the inside intact, the baby leaves, so that it will continue uh, to grow. And that way we can continue, uh, keep harvesting uh, throughout the week as it replenishes itself. So that's what we're going to use to make our salad. A rough chop, maybe about a quarter of an inch. That's good. Okay, so you want to cut your um, fresh uh, lettuce and leave it in a pretty uh, a decent size so that people are able to taste it. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is slice up a, um, a fresh cucumber and some tomatoes. And I'll tell you the, the inspiration for this dish came, um, I went to a grocery store, I'm not going to name the one, um, right after seeing a, a movie called Food Inc. If you haven't seen that movie, you need to watch it. Uh, so this is just some apple. We're squeezing lemon juice over it to make sure that it stays uh, colorful when we put it into our salad. But anyway, in this movie, it talked about farm-raised fish versus uh, wild-caught. So anyway, I find myself at the grocery store. I flip over the package of some tilapia that I've been buying for years. And one of the ingredients is car exhaust. I kid you not. It actually said on the package, uh, carbon monoxide used to re retain color. So basically, what that, um, and they're allowed to do this legally, is that they're serving you rotten meat. So if the, if the meat does not change uh, because it's been treated with basically a poisonous gas, uh, it, it, it might as well be rotten. So that night uh, we decided that we were not going to eat fish. Instead, we're just going to have a, uh, a, uh, a salad. So with, with, with this uh, fish, I, I did make uh, some shrimp that you'll see in a, in a minute. But, uh, you know, as a result, we actually did come up with a wonderful uh, meal, but I, I do caution you, make sure that you read the, the packages. If it's farm-raised, I highly suggest that you stay away from it. Uh, do consider um, growing your own, your own food. It's really becoming very important. Take, take a look at that movie, um, Food Inc. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll get some additional information how you can get into aquaponics and possibly start growing your, your own food as we did here. 
Now, if you saw the, uh, the the shrimp that I seasoned, it just had little salt, little pepper, a little paprika, sauteed it in butter uh, for about a minute just b before it became translucent, and I put a little cilantro in it. So this is when everything comes together. Uh, mix everything. You want to be very generous with uh, these flavors. The dried cranberries are very sweet. Uh, use a, a green apple, uh, one that has a little tart flavor to it. It's just going to uh, add to the experience. So the key in, to enjoying this salad is trying to get something in every bite, including the shrimp, cucumber, red onion, apple, cranberry, what have you. Let's see if I can do it here. Okay. Mm. Definitely try this one. Thanks for watching. Good night, Chef. Make sure you subscribe, and if you do uh, come up with a better name uh, for this dish besides garden salad, do leave a comment. I would like to hear from you. Um, make sure you check out the uh, the blog uh, blog site right over there in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Shane, your nappy chef.